Today we're going to talk to the Girl Judger. Uh, today his name is now part three on the uh, uh, second gen. So second gen, part three. So <clears throat> part three on the part three on the second gen canal. So part three on the second part three on the second gen canal. Uh, so in this video, I am going to analyze the match of Corona and Akatsu. Seven kills left, so not that much, but less than I uh, less than less than I can do. So we're gonna get closer to, to the end of this. So yeah, but uh, before I start the next channel, before I start the next channel, we should be doing subscribe, comment, and follow the channel. Thank you. If you hit the red, if you hit the red notification bell, you get all the videos when I make them ever. All right, <coughs> so we're gonna one minute. So um, <coughs> so yeah. an exhaust emission is a is an exhaust emission exhaust emission control device um which can which converts which converts um converts more toxic gases and so which converts both more toxic gases and um so more more, more toxic gases and pollutants. So more toxic gases and pollutants and exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine into less into less less toxic pollutants <coughs> by catalyzing a redox reaction, which is a type of chemical reaction in which the in which the oxidation in which the oxidation states of the reactant change. Oxidization is the loss of either electrons or an increase in the in the oxidation state while reducing while reduction of the change of electrons or a decrease in the either or a decrease in a decrease in the oxidation state. Both the oxidation and the reduction of oxygens occur Simultaneously in the chemical reaction. <coughs> so yeah, that's the catalyst converter. It's an exhaust emission control device which converts toxic gases and pollutants. So toxic toxic gases and pollutants. Um, <coughs> an exhaust exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine. Uh, into less toxic pollutants by catalyzing a redox reaction. Cal catalytic converters are usually used as internal combustion engines fueled by either, either gasoline or diesel. Inclusion led or and decreasing impact on both kerosene uh, heaters and stoves. Alright, back to the second gen canal. So, <clears throat> from 1935, so from 1935, a catalytic converter was used. <clears throat> from 19, from 1935, from 1935, so from 1935. A catalytic converter was added to the exhaust system of all of U.S. market general passenger U.S. market general passenger cars. So U.S. market general passenger cars, including, so including, so including.
Ooh, the it's the mail. <coughs> so that's okay. <coughs> so in air so air injection reactor essentially stands for the air itself. <coughs> so, <coughs> so the air loss or air that depends on the air injection air injection reactor um secondary air secondary air injection system so secondary air so secondary air injection system uh was still present <coughs> the ca the catalytic um emission control so the catalytic emission control system sorry the catalytic emission control Emission control system. Uh, so the catalytic emission control system uh, was more efficient at reducing emissions than the previous more general system approach, and allowed engines to be maintained for both improved durability and fuel economy. Pretty cool. The catalytic converter. So both the catalytic converter and GM. High energy or HEM electronic ignition electronic ignition system were added were added were advertised among the components of uh, Chevy's new efficiency system. <coughs> Sorry, Chevy's new efficiency system new efficiency system, which was prompted so prompted uh, to offer. To offer other benefits uh, to owners of 1925 models versus comparable 1924 models that included extended um, <coughs> maintenance intervals. Well, since the seven and a half thousand miles, it's fifteen hundred miles difference between the two. And then there's 12,700 kilometers remaining. I don't know. <coughs> so, anyway, the current. So, anyway, the current extended. So, the current extended maintenance intervals from six to seven and a half thousand miles were for oil slash physical. For oil slash physical engines, um, uh, both that and spark plugs, um, that lasted up to twenty two and a half thousand miles. So twenty two thousand five hundred miles is a mile thirty fifteen hundred miles. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Up to twenty two thousand five hundred miles. Uh, thirty six thousand uh, three hundred and five kilometers. So twenty two thousand. So twenty two and a half thousand miles. Compared to sixteen thousand and ninety three kilometers, so compared to ten thousand miles on nineteen seventy four models, um, <coughs> the Z twenty eight option was this. The Z twenty eight option. The Z twenty eight option was discontinued in nineteen thirty five. Um, <coughs> despite despite an increase um an increase in sales. To over thirteen thousand, so to over approximately thirteen thousand units in nineteen thirty, in nineteen seventy four. Optional engine, uh, optional engine continued, <coughs> continued, continued to reflect the impact of emissions to 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 one point to two one point seven million. Um, so two five point seven million um three fifteen CIV uh wheels produced hundred forty five and hundred and fifty five horsepower. Horsepower relative to single bit of reactor was compared to earlier cars, however, the power ratings were low. Net as opposed 
the bird said quietly. Cross, it's a cross, she remarked. I see you are an earth owl, I guess. Um, Mused since I was like, Mused he said. Mused since we're talking about two were taken from the empty crankshaft as before, but now all except one have to be. But now all except one have. <coughs> but now all except one have to be both excellent and operating, and all emissions of course. And both all emissions of carbon, all em, all mis, no, all emissions, all emissions of carbon, and a full production of what? So full production, full production of full production of what? I asked. Had to be in place. <coughs> Sorry, had to be in place. Least power law being at least power law being attention. So least power law being attention means no. Least power power law being attention means along with stringent um, no emissions. So both laws being no emissions, emission laws being no carbon being so emission laws and no carbon being applied. What you should then say is in creating the vastly smaller power so smaller powerful laws found in the subsequent laws. Found in the subsequent laws. I hate this lesson. So, thank you, Emission Law. Come on, really? I hate it. <coughs> I mean, we all know it. Anyways, the manufacturers themselves, the man manufacturers themselves, that themselves, <coughs> the manufacturers themselves, so themselves. Manufacturers themselves um, also sometimes um, international. <coughs> so the manufacturers, the manufacturers themselves, so themselves, <coughs> the manufacturers themselves also sometimes international um, underrated, underrated, so underrated engines um, for a variety of motives. Notably, uh, avoiding, um, provoking both the insurance companies and federal law regulators. So, avoiding provoking both the insurance companies and federal regulators. So, insurance companies and federal regulators. So, federal regulators <coughs> into, an, into, <coughs> into enacting undesirable, so undesirable, undesirable, undesirable policies, but also sometimes, but also sometimes to prevent lower priced models from stacking up too well on paper. <coughs> so, from stacking up too well on paper against their own, against their own more profitable client products. A new wraparound railway bill was being used in 1935 and the canal and boat Moved from moved from the center from the center of the grill to above to further so to so from the center of the grill to above the griller and the canal and the canal main plant so main plants was the name on the line of vessels right after they were moved also new log cutter canal so canal. <coughs> There's also a new block letter Camaro. Camaro, so Camaro, so nameplates, um, <coughs> nameplates, nameplates are soon, no, nameplates replaced the previous strip on the front fenders. Interiors are revised slightly with new, um, so interiors are revised slightly. With slightly new, slightly with both new um, seat trim patterns and bird's eye maple trim, replacing replacing the meridian um, and the grade line on line on the front panel of the 
are two bottles. I don't, I don't split, I don't, <clears throat> I don't, I don't split this very well, but I don't, I don't split this very fucking well, do I, guys? Oh, the leather, so the leather interior also in the Camel LT. I never thought about a figure of no bear can drive any more. It was equipped with the rail and all. So, so I never thought about a figure of no bear can drive any more. Were equipped with the rail with the real hide seats. <coughs> real hide seats. I'm not sure what those are, but is that real hide seats? I'm not sure what those are, but can I put this through? Don't know. Anyway, so other developments um uh included the availability so other developments included the availability with air conditioning, so air conditioning with six cylinder engine <coughs> and standard so other developments included the availability of <coughs> other developments so other developments um develop developments included the availability of air conditioning so air con air conditioning um <coughs> so air conditioning with Six cylinder models, so six, six cylinder models, um, so six cylinder, so other, other developments, um, included the availability of air conditioning with six cylinder, so other developments included the availability of air conditioning with six cylinder engines and standard retail tires on all models, from this to this, power door locks, so power door locks, um, or a new option, <coughs> or a new option for 1975. Um, the RS option returned after a long year absent, but amounted to little more than an appearance package. Despite the loss of construction lines, Camaro sales remained steady for 19. So, despite despite the loss of construction lines, Camaro sales. So, despite the loss of construction lines, Camaro sales remained. Steady for 1975 at 145,770 years. <coughs> so, at 145,770 years. So, at 145,770 years. So, 145,770-170 years. Pretty good. <coughs> I'm sorry. At 145,770 so 145,770 years, with the demise of the um, so the, the passing of the so with the demise so that the passing of the other pony cars um the previous year, both Cam both the Camaro and um Pontiac and Pontiac's uh. Firebird were now the only, the only, so the only, the only traditional uh, pony cars left um, on the market. <coughs> Given GM so little money from sales, one, one hundred percent of. So one hundred percent penetration. So one hundred percent penetration. Of the segment for the first time ever. So for the first time ever. Also, despite despite GM's uh, GM's policy, so policy against uh, factory sponsored, so factory sponsored racing, so factory factory sponsored racing vehicles. Camaro, so Camaro began, so Camaro began to make a name for itself on the track underneath. Uh, International Race of Champions, aka the IROC series, hence the IROC Camaro, or sorry, Camaro IROC, the museum IROC and stuff, so under the IROC, so the International Race of Champions, um, so Champions uh, series, with many top drivers, um, winning trophies from the, so, <coughs> so also despite GM's policy against factory sponsored racing events, 
Oh, okay. Back in response to those images, Tanero began to make a name for himself on the track on the new Aria or uh, the new International League of Champions or slash Iraq series, with many top challengers winning trophies from the Honda Wheel of the Tanero year after year until the late 1980s. <coughs> Sorry, until until the late until the late nineteen eighties. <coughs> Next up is nineteen seventy six. There's not much time for bonus one, but let's do it. <coughs> so nineteen seventy six, here we go. <coughs> only only minor appearance changes to highlight sorry, only minor appearance only minor appearance changes to highlight. <coughs> only only minor appearance sorry, only minor appearance changes to highlighters were famous only minor appearance changes to highlighters were famous in Tanero. Most notably a brushed metal insert in the rear tail rear tail section of the LT model. <coughs> So for those of you who want brushed metal inserts, so brushed are stainless steel, as it's called, instead of just dull polished metal. It's a metal with a unique electron, unique electrolyte that when finished, it's 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 produced by it's produced by polishing the metal with a 120 nanometer um <coughs> uh so 120 nanometer grit uh sandpaper belt. So 120 nanometer grit sandpaper belt or the wheel then softening it with a 80 to 120 grit uh sorry sorry with an 80 to 120 grit uh gritless so will not make it sandpaper compound of about 0.9 0.9 non-woven <coughs> sorry non-woven abrasive belt or padding Commonly brushed um, metals include so commonly brushed metals include uh, stainless steel, aluminum, and nickel. Brushed brushed finishes are popular in both metal polishing and uh, white wear, or the major appliance for their delicate polishing and wear and things like that. <coughs> and feature in both architecture. And feature in both architecture and automotive cars. The gateway to both the gateway art and the legendary 1931 BMC Free Lamar, you might recognize that car as the Back to the Future vehicle, Circuit Court, Circuit Court. <clears throat> anyway, so brushed finishes are popular in both small appliance, small appliance, so small appliances and white wear, and white wear, and feature in both architect, architecture and automotive design. Both the Gateway Arch and the LT, the LT Vehicle Car, known as the Back to the Future Vehicle. Are both clad, so clad in quotes, especially in solar and crystal, which is an application of one, which is an application of one material over another to provide either thinner or layer of <coughs> in brushed uh, in brushed stainless steel. The intensity the intensity of the brushed uh, finish is specified as specified as both 
the surface level being just between 0 0.5 to 1.5 <coughs> to 1.5 micrometers. Where they get the roughness of that. The best of that. Anyways, back to the back to the uh, sorry, the level of the transcript. So, only minor appearance changes highlighted. Sorry, only minor appearance changes highlighted the same effect can last multiple review in a brush panel up to one hour of time. So, only minor appearance changes highlighted the same effect can last most most probably um uh in brush in brushed metal inserts up in the rear tail section on the LZ model. The 250 inline sets remained the standard um, engine in the sports coupe and in the new 140, one, 140 horsepower. So 140 horsepower. Um, so 140 horsepower. <coughs> Forty horsepower. So one, so one hundred and forty, so one hundred and forty horsepower. So five, five liter, um, three oh five V eight. So, so one hundred forty horsepower, three oh five V eight. Um, became the standard engine <coughs> in both the LT and base option. So in both the LT and base wheels option, so wheel option, <coughs> so in both the LT and the base wheel wheel option, um, in the sports coupe, the larger <coughs> five point seven liter, three fifty three fifty V eight, so three fifty V eight, um, was now only available for the four barrel carburetor, and. Turbo power was still met by 165 horsepower. Power bra power brakes became sorry, power brakes became um, standard on the models uh, this year. The Camaro's popularity was soaring. Sales sales totals jumped so jumped so jumped. <coughs> sales sales totals jumped and jumped significant. Significantly for nineteen, significantly for nineteen twenty two, the, the best year yet for the fourth engine, and the return proved many more dramatically as the decade progressed. Next up is so got here we are is nineteen seventy seven. <coughs> intermittent uh, re intermittent windshield wipers arrived. And a new opinion, ah, uh, impetus, sorry, <laughs> alright, next up in 1977, here we go, <coughs> intermittent, sorry, <coughs> intermittent windshield wipers, or, so intermittent windshield, intermittent, so intermittent windshield wipers are now offered as a new, as a new option, there we go, got it right, in 1977, and the 4.1 liter, so 4.1, 4.1 and the 4.1 liter so 4.1 so 4.1 liter um so 4.1 liter 215 inline 6 became the standard engine for both the sports and sedan and luxury LT models the 5 liter The five liter, so five liter, three hundred five hundred twenty five horsepower V eight continued as the base continued as the base engine 
and the 5.7 and the 5 and the 5.7 model um all go through fifty. So and the five point seven model um so and the five point and the five and the five point seven model so five point seven model um all go so five point seven model all go through fifty units um that was optional that was optional so optional on both the sport people so on both the sport people people and LG models were upgraded so upgraded to one in the seven model so we're twenty five extra horsepower but not not much to be expected of you but well at least at least we're gonna get one so most people would have this oh you turn up to five six seven even eight hundred horsepower right there for modern day cars it was optional on both sport people on both the sport people and LG models was upgraded to hundred to one hundred and seventy horsepower. <coughs> also two hundred and seventy horsepower. Right, it'd be great if we had that. But one hundred and seventy horsepower is pretty good, but oh well. Due to uh, uh GM's <coughs> so due to um General Motors' um engine sharing program, the three fifteen uh the the three fifteen um GLD Chevy V8 uh, was also used by Oldsmobile, hence when they, hence like their father making like really good muscle cars, including the 442. Oldsmobile 442 was perfect. This year, the optional bumper rights, so bumper rights were offered for the LT model, so for the LT models, for the front bumper only, so for the front bumper only. For the front bumper, front bumper only, <coughs> and were and were mandatory. So mandatory for all Camaro for all Camaro models. So for all Camaro models sold in the state of Cal in the state of Cal in the state of California. So Cal so in the state of California. <coughs> so in the state of Cal in the state of California. In response. Increasing sales, um, so in response, so in response to increasing sales, um, of Pontiac's Trans Am, which sold, which sold over, which, which sold over 40, which sold over 40, so, which, which sold over 42,000 units in North and Southern California, and accounted for half of all, <coughs> and accounted for 50%, um, Firebird sales, the Z the Z twenty eight was reintroduced on <coughs> at the oh so so Z twenty eight was the Z twenty eight was reintroduced so reintroduced um as a as its own model um in the spring of nineteen ninety two not nineteen ninety two sorry sorry in the spring of in the spring of nineteen ninety seven as a mid nineteen ninety seven um model. <coughs> the revised Z28 so the Z28 was powered so powered by a 5.7 liter 350 so the revised Z28 was powered by a 5.7 liter 350 LM1 V8 with a full blown carburetor producing 185 horsepower, well, 100, 175 horsepower standard, with the California emission system. <laughs> the engine, the engine is not the same. So the engine is not the same 350 whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. The engine is the engine is not the same 350 that has been part of the um of the RPO Z28. As feedback on its special performance test, the engine, the engine that has been uh, shared, shared with the Corvette um, LT1, so with the, with both the Corvette LT1 and LT1 and L82 uh, performance um, 350 units. Um, sorry, the 
I do remember they showed what they call that LC what they call that LC call that LC one and L LC one and L eighty two top performance three fifty three fifty eight from nineteen seventy nine to nineteen seventy four. So you know, so it's only four years during the seventies. Gone were the four bolts made during uh engine block. <coughs> Uh, forged, forged, a forged crankshaft, a forged crankcase, big valve heads, and performance camshaft. <coughs> Still, the L one was the most powerful. Was the most powerful. Was the power. So, so the L one was the most powerful Canelo motor twelve engine and only one of the engines in that model. The engine cannon was in both a better tuned intake. So tuned intake and exhaust. <coughs> so in tuned intake and exhaust, shared with most uh, Chevy passenger cars. Well, most C thirty eights were sold with both air conditioning. Sorry, most C thirty eights were sold with both air conditioning and an automatic gearbox, rather than the standard Borg Warner Super T ten four speed manual. <coughs> But it did much better, just much better than what they thought it could probably could have if they ever had this idea back in good old 70s. Output set a record uh, for the second gen Canelo with 218,853 uh, tapes produced. The Canelo outsold Ford's Mustang, so the Mustang one, for the first time. Ever so for the very first time. For nineteen seventy seven <coughs> so for nineteen seventy seven, Z thirty eight production was around thirteen thousand cars approximately, with a one hundred and ninety five horsepower three fifty three eight motor. <coughs> so three fifty three eight motor. <coughs> so three fifty three eight motor. So motor. Next up is nineteen seventy eight. So the 70, 78 Camaro featured featured a new body frame, a rear frame, front and rear bumpers, and amber tail amber tail lights on turn signals. Available models included the base sport uh, so sport coupe, high top frame, rear tail lights, and a replacement of the rally sport kit of the RS. <coughs> the rally sport. Not batched RS, um, as in like the previous years, featured featured a standard two tone paint treatment, or what you know, what they would what they would want to call it, a tank top roof. Uh, configuration was offered as an option. Introduced on the classic 1976 Pontiac Transam. So the 1976 Pontiac Transam 10th anniversary. Limited edition, and <coughs> and a regular production option on the nineteen seventy seven Pontiac Firebird. <coughs> the Z twenty eight so the Z twenty eight models so the models included a stripe tag so a stripe package that was not that was both not deletable. In other words, like not removable. <coughs> oh, sorry, thank God, so you can't take it off anymore. It featured the five point so five five point so yeah featured the five point five point seven liter um that featured the five point seven liter three so so it featured a five point seven liter three fifty LM so. So five point seven liter, um, five point seven liter, three fifty LM one V eight, um, with a four barrel, <coughs> with a four barrel, qu four barrel quadrajet, um, carburetor that produced under under three hundred horsepower, and three hundred so that produced under under thirty five horsepower. So 145 horsepower and 
380 millimeters, 200. So please get this oven in the background color and 380 millimeters. So 380 millimeters. So 380 millimeters. <coughs> so 380 millimeters. <coughs> uh, 285 in height. Couple to add with 14, uh, 14 mil, which can't do it. Or a three speed. So three speed. So so either a 14 mil or a three three speed. So three speed to which future things are a man. A not, so not, a not functional, <coughs> or a not functioning poop scoop puts at land, uh, with a detail, uh, with a detail on the user. Camaro sales tough, Camaro, Camaro sales tough, so it's tough, tough, so Camaro sales tough, um, all pre all previous years with a monstrous 272,000 so 272,631 hits of which <coughs> 54,907 54, were the season were the season right now <coughs> all right next up Phoenix 1979 1979. Don't forget it, Grand Cross. There are a few changes to the fan. There are a few changes to the fan in 1990. <coughs> so next up is so next up is 19. <coughs> 1979. Is this at least next to any of the designers? So, right, next up, 1979. There, there are a few changes to the fan in 1979. Ancient Jersey Road with the two, the two people that are put, uh, started in the base tank for both the base and RF houses with the 305. With the with the three hundred five, with the with the three hundred five, two barrel, uh, big block V eight being an option, being both an option and standard on the new Lincoln Coupe. So being both an option and standard on the new Lincoln Coupe, luxury, um, orientated Brembo Nova model. Sounds interesting. It replaced the three five LP and had a and had a restyled restyled instrument instrument panel with a more with a with a much wider appeal than the pre so previous red round design. <coughs> although although the two although the two pieces although the although the two pieces the two pieces were uh, removed. In the same version as before, the base models all so the the, the base model set of standard RF and synthetic plus the base models RF and synthetic remained <coughs> the V the V twenties came with both came with came with both a front spanner and fender flares much like the Pontiac Trans Am. It came with V twenty eight decals, decals that ran from the beginning of the front spanner, so that ran from the beginning, so beginning of the beginning of the front of the front <coughs> front front spanner. So the beginning of the front flares, <coughs> so front flares to the bottom of the door. <coughs> This is gonna be this one. An electric an electric rear window disruption. 
So an electric rear window defroster became an option. An electric rear window defroster became an option, which has been scaled way up in the rear window rear window rear window defroster. I don't think it's flex out too. Um, sales for 1979. Oh, sorry. Sales for 1979 were 282,000. <coughs> sorry, 282,000. Sales for 1979 um, were 282,000. So 282,000. <coughs> So 282,571 units, the highest ever for any gen for any gen ML, either before or since. Next up, we're gonna open the second to last one. <coughs> so the next one is a classic, well, kind of classic-ish, but the good old 1980. <coughs> so, 1980, so it's not a very new, early 80s, it is. We got two left. Oh, so let's do this one. <coughs> for, for 1980, the aged, so the aged, the aged, 4.1 liter, 250 MI, so 4.1 liter, 250 MI6, was replaced with a 3.8 liter, 279 R230 V6. <coughs> so 3.8 liter. So, so for 19 for 1980, so it's not so it's not very new, early 80s. The aged 4.1 liter, um, 250 MI6 was replaced with a 3.8 liter. So by a 3 with a 3.8 liter. 229 V6, uh, 3.8 liter, um, 231 in California, a first for Camaro. <coughs> the 4. Point, so the 4.4 liter, um, so the 4.4 liter, 267 V8, um, so the 4.4 liter, um, <coughs> Four point four liter, so four point so the four point the four point four liter um <coughs> so the four point four liter um two sixty seven hundred and twenty hundred and so hundred and twenty <coughs> sorry the four point four liter two sixty seven hundred and twenty horsepower V eight um became an option so it became an option. So an option, so it became an option, <coughs> so op so option on the base RS and Berlinetta models. The five the five point seven liter three fifty V eight was only available on the the five point seven liter three fifty V eight. So the five point seven liter three fifty three fifty V eight was only available. So the five point seven liter, <coughs> the five point the five point seven liter, three fifty V eight, um, was only available on the Z twenty eight. Um, <coughs> the Z twenty eight hood was included. So the Z twenty eight hood. So the Z twenty eight hood, um, included a rear point rear pointing, uh, raised hood scoop with a thumb on one. Operating uh, flap, which opened at which which open which opened at full throttle. In this case, like nine times the throttle, and then the solenoid opened, so which opened at full throttle. So which opened at full throttle, um, allowing allowing the <coughs> allowing allowing the engine to breathe uh, cooler. To breathe cooler air, um, a federally mandated eighty-five, so 
Lady Fanon and uh, Spinoza also debuted. Down, down from Arjun Sudhi. So down from Arjun Sudhi. It's 45 mile an hour decrease. What? Come on, honestly. If it really had to be um, <coughs> limited 85 mile an hour, 85 mile an hour speedometer, so speed restrictor also debuted down from Arjun Sudhi as well. Unbelievable. <clears throat> so if it only made the um, restricted 85 mile an hour uh, speedometer, so 85 mile an hour speedometer, <clears throat> so 85 mile, 85 mile, <coughs> 85 mile an hour speedometer, also the so 85 mile an hour speedometer also debuted. Down from 100, down from 130 mile an hour. So down from 130 mile an hour. So down from 130 mile an hour. Z28, Z28, so Z28 had, Z28 had. <coughs> so Z28, Z28 had a new optional green five five stroke wheels, unique. <coughs> a unique upper and lower front so upper and lower front grille a sp and smaller smaller revised <coughs> smaller smaller revised um graphics on the graphics on the doors last part it was going to be revised moving down to the final ver final version of the front <coughs> the side, the side scoops, um, were also the side scoops were also were also changed from a lubric design, so lubric, so lubric design, to a flatter, so to a flatter, <coughs> to a flatter one, so to a flatter, to a flatter one, uh, with a single with a single opening. <coughs> All right. Last one, and then I will officially end the show for the second half of the night. <coughs> but before I do, I just have a drink because I can't find the stuff in the bag.
Last up is from Ennis, 19, 1981, the year the DeLorean Fantasy IV came out as a Back to the Future film. <coughs> so, let's finish this. Here we go. <coughs> so, the, 80, the 81, so the 81 model, so 81 model, um, uh, the 81 model, um, was nearly unchanged since almost extinction from 1980. It would be the last, it would be the last, um, model year for the second gen came out. So the final model year for the second gen came out. The RS option would drop, um, but would reappear in 1989. So at the end of the very late 80s, before the start of the very early 1990s. Yeah, before the very early 90s. Due to emission restrictions, U.S. so American executive order came with two different came with two different engines, and two different engines. Um, the major the majority received the five point seven liter two fifty V eight available only with an automatic gearbox, except apart so apart from California, where it was entirely banned. Supposedly, when, when it arrived with the manual. I don't know about that. I don't know. It was equipped with a CCC, or triple C. For those who don't know what that is, it stands for Computer for computer Connect, for Computer Connect System. A first, so, also a first, so first, so first gen, um, ECM engine control module um <clears throat> or ECU engine control unit so yeah computer command control <clears throat> so first so first gen ECU unit which had a also an oxygen so oxygen sensor electronically controlled uh carburetor throttle position sensor uh coolant sensors uh Barometric pressure sensor, a map so manifold absolute pressure sensor, and a check engine light on the back. It can also be up. It can also be used as a self diagnostic as a self diagnostic self diagnostic tool. As a self diagnostic tool, the gearbox, the gearbox gained a uh, lock up tail converter, also controlled by the triple C or triple C. <coughs> However. As the primary goal, as the primary goal of computer control was emissions reduction, any performance gains in one area were lost. So any performance gains or any performance gains in one area were lost in another. So horsepower dropped. So dropped to 175 horsepower. So 200, so, so 175 horsepower. <coughs> California buyers and those elsewhere desiring so Calif Califor so California <coughs> California buy so California buyers um and those so California buyers and those elsewhere uh desiring a four speed manual had to settle for the one had to settle for the one hundred for the one hundred and sixty five horsepower so for the 165 horsepower, so 165 horsepower, 5 liter, 305 V8, um, <coughs> so, so 
the 358 slash four speed so the 358 four speed combo or the, so the 358 four speed so the 350 the 358 four speed combo is available in Canada so Canada without the use of post sign so the <coughs> so the fifth the 358 four speed combo is available in Canada so the 358 four speed combo is available in Canada without <coughs> without so without the new triple C <coughs> so without the new triple C with the same spec as <coughs> with the same with the same spec as it was in English all right last part we're gonna officially almost done so <coughs> it's influenced partly so influenced partly by yeah production down prices production dropped so influenced partly so influenced partly by rising gas prices production dropped so margin production <coughs> so production dropped so they decreased 126 126 <coughs> so 126,000 126,139 units. <sighs> okay. Come on. Right, whatever. Anyway, I wouldn't even like a connection. Right. <sighs> right, whatever. Anyway. So that is officially it for the chat. <clears throat> so for my next um <coughs> <coughs> my next uh channel video will be about the third gen channel the third gen channel <coughs> and after that both so and after that will be the fourth gen of both that and the fourth gen mustang so that's gonna be pretty cool so yeah um <coughs> i'll just de i'll decide which i want to do first and then um i'll let you guys know um, when I'm gonna be doing the next version, or the next generation of what I want to call. Anyway, chat, so that's gonna wrap it up for tonight, so if you guys like this video, like and subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the, hit the notification bell, and hit all so you're notified about the brand new uploads. Alright, <coughs> so that's it. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Pretty sorry the space cadets had to deal with me, and pretty sorry the space cadets had to deal with me, and deal with me all that. And I'll see you guys soon. And I'll see you guys soon. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So, so take, so take care, folks. So take care, folks. Stay out there. And I'll see you guys soon. Good night.